your thoughts on uh, next week and, and the people you're taking down there? Well, we've got a whole variety, but I think um, <laughs> I kind of use the analogy with the England, but I don't really want to speak too much about the England football team, but uh, <laughs> we, li we live, live uh, it, I'm, I'm still hurting, yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm hopeful and uh, optimistic with the guys. We've got some young guns, we've obviously got a few of the, the older guys are still hanging around, but um, uh, it's, it's always hard when you have a big group to, to sort of like section it and work and, and talk about it as a whole. I think, um, like I said, I, I'm always hopeful. It's important to me. I, everybody knows that uh, it's great to run fast times, but I like my athletes to perform well at championships. Um, this year's a subtly different. It's not the most important thing in the world. However, winning is important. And, yeah, and, and it doesn't necessarily mean winning for me isn't necessarily the guy crossing the, the line first. Um, we have realistic goal setting with some of the athletes we have. And so, you know, winning is achieving what they're setting themselves out to do. Lots of new ones, going to find out about characters and uh, strength of character and attitude. And I think you learn so much more about the new breed that, I, that you get on board uh, when you go into that championship. Phys physically, everybody seems pretty well. Obviously, we're, we're at different stages and we are in our first year with a, with a number of people. So uh, there are no major expectations for them to challenge, but I want, like I said, I, I want them to, to go in there and you know fight every inch to get them maximise their performance and potential. Hassan has, has really had a nice year so far, especially you know starting it off at Peyton Jordan with that 1302. You know, what are your expectations for him specifically this weekend in, in that field that he'll be running against? Well, we had to reset and review where where he stood in the sport. I mean, obviously we were at always had that uh, aspiration when he come here he came here with a with a clear view on the big picture of, of, of a long term and, and taking things in in you know as, as part of a stepping stone last year was you know we run well in Peyton he didn't go well you know retribution comes to mind in the nationals you know yes go in to challenge to win um, but but we, we are you know probably looking further up the distance at 10k but he has performed tremendously well we want stability and um, we're doing it in waves because I want people to still participate and run well in July and August period mm -hmm. and so you know I'm not getting a get out clause but I mean Hassan's resetting after after Peyton Jordan was very much we need to get back and run well in August so it's a bit of a mindset however it's nationals he needs to get the nasty taste out of his mouth of, of what he experienced in um, in Iowa last year because you know that was a bit of a shock and a wake-up call having said that I think it was a wake-up call that he has bounced back and responded very well and clearly he performed you know as a 1302 you still got to run it the kids positions and it may be set up perfectly well and, and nice but you still got to run 1302 and that is that's tough you know it's uh, very pleasing and moved himself into a position to challenge with some of the other guys now and that's important stepping stones right. what do you expect to see from uh, Elijah Greer Elijah another one new baby on the block really you know and um, it's, as I was saying it's not been too smooth for Elijah in the for the transition and it's important to settle back down start to expose to the various elements that he needs to do learn his trade um, learning lots enjoy having Elijah around and uh, making sure that we, we, we pull the reins in as with a couple of others to hey this if you're going to be in for the hall and you're going to be world class you you just don't make those major jumps straight away it's running quick is one thing but being a world class athlete is another and so there's there's plenty to learn and plenty for him to um, uh, move forward with and uh, He's a little anxious, anxious to want to be that person, and so it's my responsibility to hold the rein in and uh, let's just take this smoothly. And it's not been a smooth transition, not a great winter um, for one reason or another, and so we're, we're, we're managing his program really at this moment to, to make sure that he, he steps on the line healthy and in a good mindset and so uh, goes and challenges. He's won, you know, yes, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Elijah challenge at a championship. I know he's not expected to run next week, but Andrew Weeding came back last week and ran a good race. 
you know, how is his training coming along and his healing process and, and where he's at right now? Well, you know, he's a classic. He's very frustrating, you know. <laughs> so don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's okay. You just know what you get with the athlete that you've inherited. But we've got to make him. I'm not going to be influenced by anyone to rush it. We know what, what we have. As I said, he's a classic of someone who has run world-class time, but he's not world-class. Clearly, Andrew's got very excited last year, um, sorry, last weekend about his performance. And so it's, um, it's just, it just got to take time. And we just got to make sure that, that, that the game plan has always been for him to run well in July, August this year. Um, predominantly, we wanted to run eight, but for one thing and a reason, you know, he hasn't hasn't been able to sort of get down to that kind of intensity of training and so if he did run which he's not going to now you know it would have been 1500 so I'm not going to push him into an env environment if it was world championship Olympic trials yeah we'll be managing it but we don't need to he's been chasing the last two or three years it's time to just take the shackles off of that and try and do things fairly methodically but uh, like I said we're frustrated we are really are frustrated that we wanted to run nationals and he's not able to um, for a, because he's just not going to be ready and I'm not going to put him into that arena. Just baby steps still? Yes, it is, it is. And um, we're, we're you know, like I said, he, he may not be world class yet, but we are much further down the line and closer to it um, one year down the route than what he was last year. There's no question about that. And so it may not be perfect, but he is closer. He is closer, that's for sure.